Now let's solve from random post itong dalawang post ni Sir Raymond Nogas Pateres. Isolve natin itong dalawang post niya. If you haven't answered them yet, answer them first before you will see our solutions. Basahin muna natin. There are 96 students in a class. Koma yan. One six is enrolled in swimming, one half in karate, and the rest in boys' lessons. Sa lahat ng exam, importante talagang meron kang reading comprehension. So, i-develop mo yung reading comprehension mo para maintindihan mo itong math problem natin. There are 96 students. 96 sila lahat. So, 1 six is enrolled in swimming, 1 half in karate. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang i-add si 1 six at saka si 1 half. I-add natin si 1 six at saka si 1 half. Ang least common denominator nila ay 6. So, kopyahin lang si 6. 6 ang least common denominator. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. In other words, the 1 half ay pariho lang sa 3 over 6. Pwede na nating i-add. Kopyahin si denominator na 6. Numerator to numerator, 1 plus 3 equals 4. So, ang swimming, ang kumuha ng swimming at karate ay 4 over 6. So, ang kabuuan nito ay 1. 1 ang kabuuan which is equivalent to 6 over 6. Bakit ka mo 6 over 6? Kasi nga sa denominator natin na 6. Uulitin ko. Kasi may nagtanong saan daw uh, hinanap si 1. Si 1 minus 4 over 6. Kuha na natin ng least common denominator. Ngayon, si 1 maging 6 over 6. 6 over 6 is also the same as 1. 6 divided by 6 by equals 1. Minus, kopyahin si 4 over 6. Kinopya lang natin ba? Itong 1 is pariho lang sa 6 over 6. Tapos si 4 over 6, kinopya na natin. Pwede na tayong mag-deduct. Kopyahin si denominator na 6. 6 minus 4 equals 2. So, 2 over 6 or... One third of 96 ang nag-enroll ng voice lessons. So, meron na tayong one third. Two six or one third. Pariho lang yan. So, meron na tayong one third. I-delete natin ito at isolve na natin kung ilan ba ang nag-enroll ng voice lesson. So, one third of 96 ay nag-enroll ng voice lesson. So, therefore, i-divide mo lang yan ng 3. 96 divided by 3. Isa-isahin natin. 3 times 3 equals 9. Tapos, mas 0 na siya. So, i-drop mo si 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So, ang sagot dito, 2 times 3 equals 6 man yan. Wala na. 0 na yan. So, ang sagot dito ay 32. How many are enrolled in voice lessons? 32. Another way of solving this, para mas lalo nyong maintindihan, 1 minus 1 sixth minus 1 half. 1 half. Itong 1, ito yung 96. Ito namang 1 six, ito yung 1 six of 96. 1 six of 96 or 96 divided by 6 and that is 16. Now, one half of 96, and that is 48. So, 96 minus 16 minus 48, yan na yung nag-enroll ng voice lessons. 96 minus 16, and that is 80, minus 48, and that is 32. So, 32 enrolled in voice lessons. Klaruhin natin. There are 96 students. Ito yung equivalent natin na 1 or yung whole mismo niya. 1 six is enrolled in swimming. 
komayan. That means one sixth of ninety six, sixteen. One half in karate. That means one half in ninety six. Wala mang sinabi dyan na the remaining, wala mang the remaining. So, yung one half dun pa rin sa 96. So, one half of 96 is 48. Ngayon, the rest in voice lessons. So, i-minus mo lang yan siya. Pwede rin ganito, 96 minus 16, i-close parenthesis, plus 48. So, 96 minus 16 plus 48. And this is... 64. So 96 minus 64, that is 32. Next, how much money was borrowed at 16% annual interest for 9 months if the interest paid was 3,000? In case di nyo alam yung formula, just understand the question. So, Importante i-develop ang reading comprehension nyo. Kasi marami yan sa exam at nakakaubos ng oras yan. Now let's solve this without using any formulas. So let's call this as our solution number one. Let me read this again. How much money was borrowed? So yung capital, yung buong amount daw, how much money was borrowed? At 16% annual interest, when we say annual, per year yan. Annual means year. Isang taon. For 9 months. Kaso, in 9 months lang. Meaning, 9 over 12. 9 over 12. Kasi kung 1 year yan, 12 over 12, that means 1 year. 12 months over 12 months, 1 year. This one is 9 months over 12 months. Kasi year ang pinag-usapan natin. So, 9 over 12 lang itong 9 months. For the interest paid na 3,000. My way of solving this, just in case lang, hindi natin alam yung formula. I-revise natin itong question in such a way na magamit natin yung style natin na Yung is ay meaning equals yan siya. Yung of ang meaning niyan ay multiplication. Same like how we solve our percentage problem. Mga ganyan. Anyway, itong problem na ito ay simple interest. Hindi siya kahit pa maging uh, compound interest pa siya. Ang pinag-usapan kasi natin ay less than one year. Pag one year pa, mga annual na mga interest na yan. Pag one year pa, pariho lang yan siya pag solve sa simple interest. So, mamaya, natin, mamaya na yung formula natin sa next na solution natin. Dito muna tayo kung sakali hindi natin alam yung formula. So, i-revise natin yung question. 3,000 3,000 is 16% 3,000. Yan yung interest paid was 3,000. So, 3,000 is 16% of 9 over 12. 16% of 9 over 12. Kasi annual interest yung 16 mo. 16% annual interest for 9 months. So, 16% of 9 over 12 of the amount money borrowed. Amount money borrowed. Yan. Ikopyahin mo na natin si 3,000. Si is equals yan siya. I-solve muna natin itong nasa loob. 16% of 9 over 12. I-list na lang natin itong si 9 over 12 by finding the greatest common factor na 3. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So, si 9 over 12 ay pariho lang sa 3 fourth. So, it 3 fourth na natin yan siya. 16% that is 0.16 of multiplication. 3 fourth means 0 0.75. In other words, si 9 over 12 pariho lang sa 0 0.75. Ngayon, i-multiply na natin yan. Although mayroon tayong separate video on how to multiply numbers na may mga decimal, ay, yung mga decimal numbers, isa-isahin lang natin to para klaro sa inyo. 0 0.16 times 
point seventy five. This one is thirty. Five times one equals five plus three equals eight. Next is seven times six equals forty two. Carry four. One times seven equals seven plus four equals eleven. You add nothing. This is zero. Ten carry one. Two three one. One two three four. So one two three four point twelve. So ang sagot dito ay point twelve of multiplication yan siya. So let n be that amount of money na hinahanap natin. Para ma-master itong ganitong uh, pag-solve, meron tayong marami na tayong videos about how to solve like this. So ilalagay ko na lang sa description para i-click nyo na lang yun. Ngayon, paano mag-isolate? Since pang-multiply si 0.12 dito, pang-divide siya dito kay 3,000. So 3,000 divided by 0.12 equals n. Isolated na siya. Isolve na natin ito. Although, meron na tayong super video on how to divide yung may mga decimal number, isa-isahin pa rin natin ito para klaro sa inyo. So, dito tayo mag-divide. 3,000 divided by 0.12. Ito, decimal yan. Kailangan natin gawing whole number. So, mag-move ka ng dalawang place kasi 0.12 yan siya. 1, 2. Kung dalawa ka, nakamove ka ng dalawa, mag-move ka rin ng dalawa dito. 1, 2. So, dito na yung decimal. I-align mo sa taas. Ang space, lagyan mo ng dalawang zero. Mas maganda pa rin kung sakali nakalimutan nyo kung paano mag-divide. Mas maganda pa rin uh, panuuri nyo yung uh, videos about division sa decimal. 30 divided by 12, that is 2. So, 24. Tapos, 30 minus 24, that is 6. 60 divided by 12, and that is 5. 5 times 12, and that is 60. So, mga zero na yan siya. Kopyahin na lang itong dalaw, tatlong zero sa taas. So, ang sagot dito ay 25,000. Delete, 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 delete. So, si N is equals to 25,000. So, 25,000 ang sagot dito. Now, let's do solution number 2 gamit ang formula. Yung may mga principal, rate, yung mga interest, yung mga ganyan. So, ang formula nito... I principal equals yung interest over rate times time. Itong time, yan yung years, number of years. Yung rate, yan yung 16%. Yung interest, yan yung 3,000. So, P is equals to, yung interest natin, yan yung 3,000. Over yung rate na 16% times yung time, annual interest, that is 9 over 12. So, kopyahin ulit natin dito. This is 3,000. Ang nasa, itong nasa denominator natin, isolve muna natin. That is 0. 0.16 times 0. 0.75. Delete ko nga to. So, this is yung 9 months. Yan yung 0. 0.75 natin in a year. Ngayon, isolve muna natin itong denominator. 16, point 0.16 times point 0.75, na-solve na natin kanina, that is point 0.12. Tapos, kopyahin si 3,000. So, napansin nyo, parang ganun lang din ang ginawa natin sa solution number 1 natin. Ginamitan lang natin to ng formula. Yung solution number 1 natin is yung style natin na ni-revise natin yung question. So, 3,000 divided by 12, so, divided by point 0.12, Na-solve na natin ito. Ang sagot dito ay 25,000.